This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. The federal health insurance marketplace is now open. So if you're under 65, you're free to shop for the health plan that's right for you. UPMC Health Plan has some of the lowest price plans on the marketplace. Plus, you may be eligible for financial assistance to help you pay for your insurance. For affordable coverage that includes access to UPMC and digital tools to help you manage your health, visit upmchealthplan.com slash marketplace. Enroll today. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey kids, it's time to get in on some Get Geeky. It is the Awesome awesome Cast, episode 471. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, ready to talk all the awesome things. And Baby Yoda is with you today. Uh, with us, the gadget hero from Big Bank International, Esquire. Though he's, he's a little frantic. He's studying for a big test. I got my... Azure Fundamentals exam tomorrow. Band flashbacks, huh? What band flashbacks? No, what? no. Uh, I said band flashbacks, huh? Uh, yeah. Some school. Some like, school, some cramming. Some cramming. Always always be learning, right? Always be learning. <laughs> so we'll get into that. Uh, we'll, 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 no, we won't get into that maybe particularly. We'll get into some fun stuff here and all kinds of geeky stuff throughout the show. And, of course, producer Missy's hanging out as well uh, back there on the ones and twos. Making sure the show goes smoothly. Uh, this is the Awesome Cast. Like I said, check out everything at awesomecast.com where you subscribe to us in video and audio form. Uh, and uh, you can also email us at awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com, awesomecast on Twitter, and an awesomecast Facebook page and group. We are streaming there on that Facebook page every Tuesday. At 7 p.m. Eastern Time, you can join us, just like Dave Ponder, the Tiny Shutter Podcast is, and at least five of our other friends, and uh, more throughout the show. Did, did we figure out how Dave gets top fan status? Yeah, he's in the uh, chat room like every week. Why can't I be top fan? Because I'm in there every week. You're top host. I don't get a little badge with a diamond no, next no. to it. No, do, do I need to get you a pin? Do I need to get you a trophy? I want a participation trophy. A pr- yes. participation trophy for participating in this show? Yep. Okay, working on that. I want a belt. You want a belt? Like a WWF belt. <laughs> well, we had somebody last week that could do that for you, actually. So uh, we might have to get our friends from Bar Jitsu to help us out with that then. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> uh, you can also subscribe to us on your favorite podcast app and watch the video versions on Facebook and YouTube after the fact. Or, you know, hey, it is the future. Ask your Google uh, uh, voicey device uh, or Amazon or, or your Siri thing to uh, listen to the awesome cast podcast and if you catch us later on one of the other outlets and have some comments or just want to tell us what we got wrong on this episode please tweet us at awesome cast with the hashtag ac471 for this episode and uh thank you to our audio partners the 405 media.com that's carrying us on their stream every day uh check your local listings there for time zones and uh, post-industrial audio our partner uh over there and there's a lot of great pittsburgh based podcasts being featured uh as a part of that uh, network as well so uh not a network necessarily just a, just a sharing a sharing of po- good podcastiness also thank you to our patreon supporters helping support the show here helping us build helping us grow our friends at the coffee club five dollar level matt Weller and john dicky de gore and john carmen as well as our fan of the show one dollar level friends our longest running patreon supporter michael fedor and our good friends the newly launched pghmuseums.org by the way a side note on that uh part two of the fishing without bait interview with brian crawford is up go check that out at fishingwithoutbait.com and on circuitronmedia.com as part of this network all comes together guys uh so let's get into our awesome things of the week and chilla we were talking about this before the show disney plus disney plus disney plus Baby Yoda, baby Yoda, baby, baby Yoda, Yoda, baby Yoda, baby Yoda. It is everything. I, I, I 
I, the Mandalorian is amazing. I don't want to get too much into it. Um, our, our wrestling podcasts have turned into <clears throat> Disney Plus podcasts as, because it's more interest, interesting to us than wrestling. Um, at least the last two shows that we've done. Uh, so it's been it's been kind of an interesting ride there. Um, a lot of nostalgia, just even popping in and you know checking out a little bit old Chippendale, Darkwing Duck, uh, things like that, or just like I forgot how much I knew of the Aladdin movie. You know, just <laughs> so do they have a list of what's because not their their entire catalog is not on there. No, I had trouble finding Marsupalami. I'm not familiar with Marsupalami. Marsupalami just jumping through the jungle goes, ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah, Marsupalami. And that's from my head. I think that's how the theme song goes because I'd hear it every Saturday morning. It's a it's like a, it's like a cat thing with a long tail. Huh? Yeah. Don't remember. Disney cartoon. Saturday morning but on they NBC. have the Spider-Man Amazing Friends. But they have Spider-Man is Amazing Friends, <laughs> which is also also weird because I remember growing up on that cartoon and then realizing it came out the year I was born. Yeah. So do they do they have a list of the catalog they have somewhere or do they have a list of what's not on there somewhere? I haven't seen those. I haven't looked for those. But also, I mean, it's not the smoothest going. I, I mean, I... I but I, I, I don't know. Maybe my tastes are not uh, eclectic enough that I'm running into these holes. But, you know, I'm watching some Big Hero 6 cartoon because I re- figured out the there was a cartoon. Was the movie was good. And I've always wanted a sequel. And I didn't realize there was an entire series that ran on Disney XD. Huh. So that kind of stuff. I'm picking up where I left off on my uh, uh, my Star Wars Rebels DVD and just watching the stream now. And it's getting really good. I'm about halfway through season one. Um, you know, Jeff Goldblum was... Jeff Goldblum with sneakers. It's <laughs> and the next one's about ice cream, so I'm going to watch it because. But it also it feels like that kind of um, uh, travel channel kind of program that you just throw on on a Sunday afternoon, right? I, and that's fine. Um, I have not watched the new Lady of the Tramp. I want to sit and watch that with my mother because she loves dog movies. So that's that has to happen. Um, and I haven't really. I'm watching like like a uh, um, Forky asking questions, like what's a friend, and uh, and 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 things like that. Uh, you know, Star Wars cartoons, just random other stuff here and there, um, and kind of making a wish list of what I need to find time to watch. So, is there any knowledge or information on if something comes to the service? Is it guaranteed to stay or is it like Netflix where I think it's going to be here for now, but you may lose it. I think I, it depends Netflix on rights. has to pay rights. So, okay. So here, here's <clears> some <throat> of them that I'm finding. Like you can find movies like Dumbo's on here, right? But the Beauty and the Beast remake is not on here, but it's still on Netflix. Okay. It's one that's been, and it's just kind of put my, so my thought process is I buy every marvel movie me too and digital when it comes out yes and you won't spend your... 20 bucks yeah that's 20 so bucks. that's three months of disney plus right well, and here's... you figure if you do that a handful of times per year mm-hmm. that's disney much paid plus for, for the year basically but, but also the, but also i don't downloads. think um certain things aren't on here like the newest um solo and the newest oh. of the star wars tr- new trilogy is not on here uh, and again, these are things that are still tied up with Netflix. Now, what happens beyond here? I'm guessing you're not going to see those kind of leave as much as often. Like, well, I think we're kind of letting all those wrap. Here's here's the other thing that Disney and this is stuff that they've done for decades at this point. Here's your chance to get it now before it goes in the vault. Mm-hmm. So I think that they're going to I'm, I'm imagining they're going to continue that trend that it's going to be available on Disney Plus for a certain period of time to make it a demand and supply. Hey, type of Aladdin's thing. back. Like they're good at that. I, I f- yeah. I feel like it's going to happen less. I feel like that's an old model that they're going to step away from, right? Mm-hmm. So, but you you still have. I I think this is a chance for people to discover. Like I, you know, I, for me, it, it's it's a chance to kind of go in. I did not know. There's a there's a Rocket and Groot. I think they're shorts, but there's a Rocket and Groot series. You know, there you have Agent Carter on here in humans if you didn't catch that. Well, the other the other thing it's, that you need to take into consideration is that it's not just Disney Plus content. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Steve's in the chat room talking and Steve's a huge sports guy over there with Bold Sports. Yeah. 
He's talking about the fact that uh, Disney Plus, as well as ESPN Plus, is included with Hulu. Mm-hmm. So, you know, he's got that hookup. For twelve ninety nine a month, I think. Yeah. So, I mean, mm-hmm. it, the pricing is right there for it's it. It works one. out really well. So, I I did accidentally <clears throat> subscribe to that because I just wanted to see what the price, like the price difference was going to be since I paid for like three years up front. And... <clears throat> And, I, and and you hit the button. I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll pull up the PayPal and I can see the price before I approve. Now, apparently it was a one, it was a one click buy button and I, I went right through. So now I have a month of uh, Hulu because I went ahead and canceled it. But it's the commercial one. So I'm kind of peeved about that. So I'm trying to figure out what I can squeeze in before that expires that I've been meaning to. But uh, well, that's interesting because the Hulu, they just raised their prices like. Yeah, that's what I heard. 20 some percent. Mm-hmm. So. I wonder if this bundle will stay at that price. And, and for me, I'm not going to watch ESPN. And it was like yeah. nine something was the difference. And I'm like, mm, nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, because it's five ninety nine for the commercial Hulu. And, that, and that's the thing, too. Like, I, I want the... did they re- So they raised the price on the live or the... I don't know. I don't like, know. What I thought the... I heard subscri- <clears throat> uh, on your commercial free version, okay. like raise six bucks or something. I'm like, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, if that's the case. Um but we'll look into that too. So, but there's good stuff like there's like the '90s. There's the '90s Marvel cartoons, like your X Men, Spider Man, uh, Iron Man stuff. But like I said, there's a lot of Disney XD here, like the like the Star Wars cartoons that have happened over the years. Um, the Marvel Rising stuff that's like kind of the more girl power uh, uh, Marvel young superheroes show. It seems um, that looks pretty good. Uh, a lot of other kind of Spider Man series, Guardians of the Galaxy series. So like if you're like a fan of the movies and maybe you don't keep up with Disney XD shows. I think it's a good opportunity to, to dive into those kinds of shows too. Um, some of the stuff may be tough to hold up. Here's here, <laughs> here's my question, Sorg. I'm sorry. I've only been partially paying attention to you. Mm-hmm. Um, have we gotten to the reason why you and I are watching like legit, why we're watching on oh, Disney plus Mandalorian. Yes. I wasn't going to get too bad, big into it for, for spoilers, but, uh, but no, it's, it's pretty fantastic. Well, everybody's seen the the thing that I wanted yeah, to talk everybody, about. Yeah, everybody's seen the baby Yoda yeah. on the internet at this point. You can't get away from it. Um, I, I feel like I, I feel like by itself it's not enough for your six ninety nine uh, because they're like half hour forty five minute episodes so far, and there's only going to be eight of them. No, but when you get in to see that, then you find out the other stuff that's but on there. There's so. enough other stuff that I have not gotten to. Ooh, there's an Avengers Secret Wars show. I don't know about that. When one. there's going to be so and Robert Downey Jr already said that he was already doing voice recordings for what if Mm -hmm. so that Mm. looks like that but that's not until 2022 Uh, wow that's like some of the interesting stuff too is is like and that's kind of why i'm on pause because i don't have a lot of time to consume the content right now Mm -hmm. i also don't want to lose it if it's going to go away but a lot of the the other stuff that i want to see is definitely like late 2021 2022 yeah, timelines yeah. but um, i don't it, it's it's also like for me it's i watched frozen i've never watched frozen before. i've never seen it either and i watched it you should watch it it's worth it um but there's also like revisiting like those early 90s disney or i really haven't seen anything in between you know mulan's having a live action like, i don't think i've seen mulan or anything like that. i haven't seen that so i think i think it's cool for that the muppets are on there uh, most of the Muppet movies are on there. The the ABC one is on there. Uh, Rocketeer, like it just kind of like a lot of these are kind of revisiting sh- movies that I would rent from the video store. You know, like when there was you know uh, uh, bed knobs and broomsticks, uh, things like that. Uh, computers that wore tennis shoes. Uh, so. Um, no, I think it's worthwhile. I, I, I think it's good if you're if you're a Disney fan, a Marvel fan, a Star Wars fan. I think it's kind of a mess buy, must buy for those. If nothing else, just to be like, hey, I'm gonna go watch like Empire Strikes Back just in, just because, and it's 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 in like the best quality possible because most of those are in like 4K UHD. So, Chilla, what is your awesome thing? So I'm gonna shy away from the typical Apple stuff. Mm. Motorola, if you remember the Razor. Mm-hmm. It was one of my wife's favorite phones ever. What, there was a razor. Um, oh, I think we talked about on the phone. Uh, Missy's mother drove over her razor with the car. And it still works, I'm still sure. Worked. <clears throat> it is back. It is back with two screens of goodness. Mm. Um, they are bringing back the Motorola Razor. It's going to run Android. 
it's a foldable phone, a foldable screen. So there's a screen on the outside that can also do selfies and actually has kind of like a small touch screen where you can get um, updates. You can get obviously things like caller ID. You can take selfies, see notifications, play your music, all without opening the phone. Um, and then you open it up and it is just, it's pretty amazing looking. I'm not going to lie. If I was willing to go the green bubble route, I, this <laughs> would be my phone. Um, I'm, I'm interested to see it. I, I don't think it's in the store yet. I don't know what the release date on it is. I mean, it's going to be a variety. The other thing is it's a Verizon exclusive. Mm. I'll be interested to see for how long. Or I'm sure they'll sell a, an unlocked What's one. What's the last time we've had a significant carrier exclusive? To me, this is pretty significant. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I'm saying this kind of is, but... Yeah. for Yeah, there... I mean, there's been some carrier exclusives, but then you could direct order, mm-hmm. like unlocked. But I... I want to see this. I don't know. The people that are taking pictures of her are far too trendy for my taste. <laughs> well, it's definitely, I mean, this was the trendy phone back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of pictures of it already on Instagram. They have their whole, that whole center of the site. That's they're a little bit down. That's yeah. Um, Instagram and Twitter feeds and whatnot. I, I'm looks like there's a fingerprint sensor on the, the front at the bottom. Mm hmm. Um, this looks like a beautiful phone. If that screen can hold up, because um, it is a folding screen in the center of the inside of the phone. And as Carla will tell you, there is nothing more satisfying than snapping your phone closed with your chin <laughs> to hang up on someone <laughs> and getting that nice snap. That's the important <clears throat> part, right? <laughs> it's like the old school <laughs> slam on the phone down. Yes. Um <laughs> I want the one with the, you know, watching The Matrix more recently when they re-released it. Uh, I want the one that's the click and it pops. Yeah, that slides kind of thing. down. Or you, and then you just, again, like kind of, you know, kind of bash it on your other hand to close it to hang up, you know. <laughs> oh, man. These are fun. Well, that's what they're saying. The next, the, the iPhone could go dual screen and that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a slider mm-hmm. and slide the second screen out from behind the first one so that would be an interesting uh way Mike, michael it. in the chat room saying samsung might lose the foldable phone race I guess. i'm thinking so. mind share yes and it's like smaller and a little more realistic isn't it than what they were trying to put out yes yeah so i mean and maybe that's a big thing you know and, and it's also and you pair it with an old you know something that people remember like this like the razor which is like we're talking 10 years ago right at this point, I feel like the, the razor that was more than ten, more than ten, but but they've had it for a while. Like it, it creeped very well into like iPhone smartphone territory. Yeah, right. So so it's more realistically like a lot of people probably had these six six years ago. Let's say I don't think six years ago. You don't think six That's years ago sure. the iPhone was released in 07, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was it was several years before smartphones became but the blackberry was already out back then yes but i'm talking about the rest of us mm-hmm. i mean more i mean the the, the, the normal razor yeah the normals had the razor the normals went from a razor to you know samsung's and iphones like they didn't mm-hmm. get your your htc g1s or anything no. like that so uh um, chachi did uh chachi did he also had a sidekick the, he had a sidekick the, side, the sidekick was, he was awesome. big on the sidekick the sidekick I mean, was a that was great... back when that was your twitter machine yeah that was missy producer how, missy. how long have we been married uh for 20 years how long have we been married oh no that we've been around for no we've been together for 20 years um that would be uh <laughs> carry the one uh because <laughs> he does the math this is a test this this is it's it's 15 years sorry it's 15 years and that's as old as the razor. Oh, but they were, but they were, but they were sold them for years in different models and everything. Is what I... I'm saying. 2004. 2004. Yes. Yes. When did Motorola stop producing? The are you razor? are you talk typing right now? Yes, I think he is. <laughs> 
Well, anyways, while we get the answer for that, uh, Chili does a little bit of research. Uh, let's give a shout out to our friends supporting uh, Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Our friends at Slice on Broadway, right up the street here in Beachview, as well as Carnegie, PA, East End, and PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, go check out our friends over there supporting the show, feeding the Chilla and other guests here on podcast night every Tuesday, so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, thank you so much to those guys who have been supporting us since they had one location back in the day. Uh, go check them out. Sell, tell them the awesome cast sent you and find out more at sliceonbroadway.com. All right, let's get into some of the stories from our, uh, our socials. Well, first, a shout out to chachi hanging out with him this weekend uh he is uh, diving deep into the, his 1001 game journey and i know he's uh continuing to post there but the pod, but the site is not loading to see where he's at with stuff right now i think we're having a little bit of a connection and kick up here uh but i know he's deep in nes games and everything uh so he he said i was talking to him about it, he said one problem with this list is sometimes it would it would list like a an adaptation of a game to like the nintendo entertainment system and when there's like a perfectly finally available like arcade version of it i'm thinking like i think we were talking about it was like kind of think like hey would you like to play the original pac-man or the version on the atari chilla what was the difference the one on the atari was not very pac-man it was very blocky and two I, I don't remember that well because like i don't remember playing i remember playing the original pac-man on the Atari, but I don't really remember playing it very much in the arcade. Yeah, but I remember yeah. the arcade was Miss Pac Man. That was like the big that you had around you. The, 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 yeah, that was like yeah, at the yeah. Pizza Hut and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how that works out. Check out thegamejourney.com. Uh, from uh, here, here's a little bit of commentary on some of the stuff we were just talking about. Uh, I know uh, uh, Brian Crawford. Uh, he shared the uh, some thoughts about Disney Plus. He says a uh, He's actually having issues with it, um, and I know some people. I saw I saw an article this week that said Disney Plus is the biggest disappointment at launch or something like that. And I was like, really? What are your expectations for something like this? I can't tell you. Can you remember like any video service that's launched without issue on this level? W Network was abysmal when it started, but and also the numbers that they got for this were beyond anything I think any of those services got. But anyways, he's saying his biggest complaint is Disney Plus is that it does not remember that episode you left off in, in a series, which makes it difficult to binge watch. Uh, is uh, I'm frustrated by it a little bit. It does have the next button, if you're watching through something at least, um, but it doesn't like auto-skip or anything, like uh, the, at least on devices that I've used so far. So, But again, like we were talking about this a little bit before, and this sounds like stuff that's going to be probably ironed out in like 2.0 or something in, in, within the first I don't month. Think it's, I don't think it's going to take... I think you're going to get it before Christmas, mm -hmm. I would guess. They have enough time to yeah. to at least bring in like play next, fix the search issue, and yeah. store store where you left. It's off. so strange because again, this is a service that's based on you know previously has run versions of HBO online uh, was previously and they've rebooted since and are, are having their own feature problems. WB Network uh, ran on the same system and technology. Uh, the old BAM systems that 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 Disney had bought um, within the last few years to do their own thing. So uh, yeah, I, it'll come. Sure, at least I got my. I, it does have my Chromecast and everything. It looks like so. Um, we'll see how it grows, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. What'll be interesting is it's the first week, so there's no profiling on Disney Plus, right? Like. <clears throat> Your Disney Plus account. Actually, I think they just added it. Because I just noticed it in the account today. Like, I can make a Missy account. You can make it. Okay. Yeah. So maybe that's what they were waiting for. Because to profile it out like that, to figure out where you left off, it has to be by person. And right now, if there's no profiling mm -hmm. and people are sharing an account, that could really mess up the whole concept, right? Right, took, right. <clears throat> Cause Cause it, yeah, because you you have this ad profile, so I can throw one in, and like you can you can pick your icon, and it has a lot more choices than Netflix did. Can I be Iron Man? Let's see, who's gonna be? Can let's be see, Boba Missy. Fett, do you want to be a blue girl from Avatar? Do you want to be Ariel? That's all it's loading so far. I can give you 
the snowman, uh, the, the the baby from from Incredibles, maybe. I want to be Baby Yoda. Here, how about this badass chick from uh, uh, I want Star Wars to be, Clone Wars? I want to be Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda? I don't know if he's in here yet. I don't know. It's still loading everything. How about... <laughs> How about, uh, do, 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 do. still loading, still loading. Why, I don't even know why what, do you I ask what I want to be and then tell me I hey, can't look, be it? Is that Hannah Montana? Is that who that is? We'll look for Baby Yoda. <clears throat> we'll look for Baby Yoda in here. In the meantime, I'm going to give you uh, Elsa from Frozen. Uh, <laughs> so, but, uh, what wait, no? wait, what? What are we implying by giving me Elsa with from Frozen? I, you're. You're friends with Lady Frost, a wrestler we know that also resembles Elsa. Boom, that's what we got. That's what we got. Um, no, I think it'll come along. I think any of our complaints, like it's already, you know, enable, enabling autoplay and things like that uh, here. So um, I'm going to complete her profile so she can go watch as much Big Hero 6 as she wants later, lately. I also got to change. I don't want to be the damn mouse anymore. Anyways, it'll come. Netflix wasn't awesome when it first started. It was very less. I mean, than it awesome. was. Remember, it pretty much started as a DVD. Yeah, it was. But when they started the streaming, like it was <clears throat> mm-hmm. not great. It was all like really horrible B movies for the longest time. And the, I mean, back then though, I mean, I was still on DSL, so the my stream <laughs> that quality too. wasn't that great. Is that too? But that was my problem, not. But theirs. I don't think. Well, I don't think they had a lot, yeah. really, to to work with. Anyways. Uh, also in here, uh, Potter shared the new 16-inch MacBook, which maxes out at over six thousand dollars with eight terabyte SSD and sixty-four gigabytes of RAM. If you'd like to do that, uh, and but he th- also says a gif of Sorg trying to slap sponsors on every bit of the screen to upgrade to this. If I knew how to get all those sponsors on, <laughs> it would not be a problem. Uh, but uh, so, so I'm looking at this device. So I I'm running. If I, if I was due, I would. I'm running a 2015 MacBook Pro. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm, I was figuring next spring, and I'm probably the, due. And that means you skipped the bad keyboard. I've skipped. The, I've which, completely skipped the bad keyboard, which I've been not happy with. Okay, it's been, it feels mushy. Like I'm, it's getting to that point where it's like, oh no, I think we do have a problem here with this keyboard. The the they brought back the escape key, mm-hmm. which excited me. Um, <laughs> I keep bumping it on the touch bar. It's annoying. Uh, the thing that impressed me though was so I have I have an upper end MacBook Pro 13 inch 2015 Mm -hmm. now I only took the SSD up to like 512 gig but I have 16 gig of RAM I have I have um you couldn't do much with the graphics, but I bumped the processor. I maxed the processor out. I maxed the memory out at the time. I went full tilt. You're just like this thing is going to last than, me other forever. Other than disk, yeah. I went full tilt because I prefer external storage or network storage at home or whatever. Um, I I don't want to get in the habit of keeping that all on device, mm-hmm. um, and I feel like if I keep my SSD smaller, I'm much less likely to just pack rat on the device. Yeah. Um, and I think that was twenty five hundred bucks, twenty four ninety nine, twenty three ninety nine. The base model for the sixteen inch is twenty three ninety nine. Six core, i seven. I think is the baseline. Jeez. Um, I think it starts at sixteen gig of RAM. I think it starts at five twelve gig SSD. So it so starts at everything it, I upgraded my fifteen inch to in in the spring. And it's it's. Like a hundred dollars cheaper than my maxed out thirteen inch back in twenty fifteen. Hmm. So, and I was coming off of a two thousand nine Air mm-hmm. when I jumped to the Pro. To me, the other thing is the weight. I mean, the it's a lot lighter than even probably my thirteen inch. This got me actually thinking about. I think I want to go the other way because I don't want to take my core edit machine with me when I'm traveling, but I want to be able to add it while I'm traveling and just. The iPad isn't there yet. I can't bring files off of my my cameras with MTS files into the iPad. If anybody knows a way to do that, please let me know. I'd love to. If that would, I'd be cool with that then, right? You know, edit podcasts, things like that. You know, at least the way that I like to edit podcasts. Mm-hmm. I don't want to learn a whole different way in GarageBand just because I'm mobile. Um, so, so I have a question because I think I saw Amanda in the chat and she knows everything. Um, <clears throat> or did she disappear? Maybe she did disappear. I was wondering, so do you know, 
So you can take your old Apple equipment to the Apple store. Yeah. And they'll give you like yeah, trade in. But I'm sure if it's so old, they won't. No, and I'm fine with that. They'll take it, but not, 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 not give, give you money. Not really anything. That's not my question. My question is, can I take like last year's iPhone in and get the trade in value on an Apple gift card and then hold on to that to use it in the spring? Because I have stuff that I could probably get more money for now. I think the whole idea is they do that in as an incentive for you to buy now. To buy now. Yeah. I can't imagine they're going to let you time release that credit. But it's just on a gift card. True. True. And they can still refurb the device and mm-hmm. resell it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm sure there's somewhere along the along the way where that math kind of breaks down. So, all right. Let's see what else we got here. Um, also. Missy, you shared some interesting things. First of all, uh, 18 things millennials grew up with uh, that today's kids apparently have no idea about. Oh, you're actually going to go with that one. <laughs> sure. Oh, I want to see this because we'll I'm give you that. Yeah, this this is one of those lists that come that came the, up in my face. This is the feed. this is one of those I'm old uh, lists. Oh, very very much so, very much so. Um, so I asked my little brother what what this was, and he said a DVD. It's a picture of a VHS. Mm-hmm. That was the very first thing, and I was just like, "Oh God, this is this is so bad." So a lot of it's, um, you know, pictures, and kids have no idea what it is. Remember, Sorg, when we asked your brother about the rotary dial phone in the basement? Oh yeah, yeah, similar to that. So, yeah. So Christopher had to go get his eyes checked, mm-hmm. and this would have been like probably a year ago. It wasn't the most current time. It's probably a year, year and a half ago, and. For three to four year olds, they ask you if they can spell. And even if you say yes, they still give them an I like we like have to read the bottom line and it's a bunch of letters, right? Yeah. Well, for kids, it's a bunch of symbols. Like it'll be like stop sign, a heart, okay, a star, whatever. Yeah. Um, circle square, all the basics. They brought up a picture of like an old school rotary dial phone, like the one that like the receiver hung on the, not on the wall, but on the top of it. And then it was kind of like a box on it with a 45 degree slope. And then the the rotary, they were like, what is that? And he was like, I don't know what that is. And they're like, you can't see it. He goes, no, I don't know what that is. is." So it's, it's hysterical because it's totally true. And and that's just it is the, the tweet that I saw, the picture that, had posted in my feed was a screenshot of a tweet. My daughter just asked why we say hang up the phone. And now I feel like I'm 90 Mm -hmm. (laughs) because that's just it is you don't hang up a phone, which I guess going back to your Motorola razor thing is that Mm -hmm. you get that from the folding phone. You you get the flip phone. You get the satisfaction of having it actually (laughs) make a noise and, you know, click that conversation is done. And now, now I'm satisfied. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't hang up a phone because it doesn't hang on a wall anymore. By the way, speaking of phones, um, I love this one about the 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 um, uh, iPhone docking station wasn't working and it's a tape deck. Um, also, <laughs> I'm impressed that the phone fits in the tape deck. <laughs> oh, yes. A, a friend of mine was telling me he got his son a they needed he needed a printer for college mm-hmm. and he found a very cost effective laser jet but it was an all-in-one, so it was a laser jet. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, a laser jet, so it was toner-based. Um, laser jet with a scanner and a fax machine. Mm-hmm. And he brought it home, and it was this giant thing. And his daughter, who's, I think, like a sophomore in high school, was like, why is there a phone hanging off the side of the printer? <laughs> so he explained to her the whole the whole what, process, whole, yeah. the whole process of how a fax machine works, and at the very after like fifteen minutes of conversation about why in the world, like why don't you email this? What? Why don't you just share it on Google Docs? Like her fifty-two technologies that we have today, <clears throat> it then clicked in her head. She was like, "Well, well, so you send it, but how do they get it?" And he was like, well, they would have a fax machine, too. And she was like, you need two of these? 
<laughs> like just it's just hysterical. You know what? Let's explain to somebody how multiplayer worked. Uh, multiplayer worked on a Game Boy. Oh, oh geez, it's with such the, a pain the in the ass. Well, here's here's one of my favorite ones uh, from from this list. Getting back to this, mm-hmm. um, it's a picture of a three and a half inch floppy, the the hard disk. You know, we we know what that is. Okay. Um, a kid <laughs> saw this and said, "Oh, you 3D printed the save icon," because again, kids don't know that, mm-hmm. and the save icon on your computer now is a little image of the the floppy because it's saving it to. For, for those of us that grew up in that era. Like, it's just the weirdest thing that these kids have no idea about because why would they? So yeah. What do they have instead of the crank? I have to look at my kid's school. What do they have instead of the crank pencil sharpener? Is it just all electric? Uh, either that also they have the insert lead pencils that uh, just. The clicker. Yeah. Yeah, but not for little kids. Because Christopher's tried to use those. They just. And it doesn't just work. Snaps. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I have. I have no idea. That then. problem too. So yeah, that was that was one of the weird things. Well, um, so you so. tell me about this other article you have here about Hyundai launches a, with a roof-based solar charging system. Yeah, this is the one I thought you were gonna put me into. So this is the one <laughs> that I was prepping for. Um, yeah. So right now, you know, e vehicles, you know, the energy efficient. We have uh, vehicles to plug in. Which means you need to get to a uh, you need to get to a charging station. You need to make sure there is a charging station. You plug it in. You wait for however long it takes to recharge, and then you're back on your merry way. They're attaching silicon solar panels to the roof of the vehicle so that it can actually charge while it's driving. Hmm. The nice implication of this is it can also be used on other vehicles. So imagine powering your boat using solar power. Imagine powering your jet using solar power. <laughs> like those those. It's going to come down the line, but it, it's opening the door for this entirely new way of, of managing all of this. Mm-hmm. And it's a uh, Hyundai Motor Company is, is the one that's kind of implementing this. So I thought that, that was kind of a cool thing that, again, using using something that's right there and literally in front of us that seems to be a no brainer that nobody's apparently thought of or you know they've been working on it, but it hasn't come to fruition these guys are actually making it happen. I never, I never understood why the back of your phone wasn't a solar panel. Mm-hmm. Like I know, like we're so into cases. I mean, so many people use cases now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like even back in the day when cases weren't a thing, like why didn't, why well, even, didn't they just make the back of the phone a solar panel? Even so, do you have that? Where Where is that usually when you're walking around? In my pocket, but. At my desk, like, I guess I'm stationary enough during the day that, like, the Logitech has that keyboard. Oh, that's mm-hmm. true. That has that whole solar panel. I mean, it looks like an old school solar calculator. Yeah, also, panel, solar, yeah. also solar cl- calculators. Always been a thing. Yeah. That's true. They didn't need as much, I guess. But even well, if I could get, like, an extra hour or two of battery life mm-hmm. per day, just because I, I usually have my phone face down. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Oh. Hey, you know what? You know what we can help you with? So maybe not your solar power devices, but uh, <laughs> here but you'll power me up. With we'll power else. you up with your big superhero project, Chilla. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. uh, we right here, uh, housed here in Sorgatron Media Studio, Psychic Media Services. Let us be a psychic in your superhero project, and you never know what we can pull off. Like uh, we just did a uh, iPay, well, not an iPay per view, a live stream for a a MMA event mixed martial arts event in North Carolina this past weekend. We took a lot of the studio with us here and uh, and, uh, and and had hundreds of people, thousands of people watching that uh, Saturday night, uh, and it was a lot of fun. You might have been hanging Missy off of the side of the cage. Uh, we can do about anything here, podcasting, a video production, live streaming, social media websites. Just Launch is the uh, great, of course, we just had Brian Crawford on the show recently, uh, pghmuseums.org, uh, and uh, a lot of fun there, and still, and still, and still getting feedback and responding to that feedback, I believe, as well. Right, Missy? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> I was talking about that great project you just worked on, pghmuseums.org. Oh, yeah, that, that'd be the one. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, actually was talking with Brian earlier today, yesterday, 
Uh, we've gotten some more museums signed up for it, and everybody seems to be really on board with it. Mm -hmm. Some good stuff there. We're cracking the code on a lot of the people's projects here in the Pittsburgh area. So please go check out what we have going on. SidekickMediaServices.com. If you look up uh, us up on YouTube, uh, just spruced up the uh, the uh, 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 demo reels of some of the stuff that we've worked in over the uh, last year. I think it's a lot of the 2018 stuff. We'll be putting together the 2019 sizzle reel here in the coming weeks, of course. So was, man, just look at the projects we did in 2019. is ridiculous. And I'm uh, really looking forward to see what it looks like in 2020. When we uh, kick off here in another month, I guess. Jeez. Uh, anyways, let's get back to it with the stories here. Uh, what else do we got here? Chilla, what do you want to get into? What do I want to get into? So this is, this really excites me. So if you scroll down to the Have Alexa Blast Your IR. That sounds dirty. <clears throat> so I use numerous devices across numerous TVs to control my home theater. Mm -hmm. So cable box, home stereo, Xbox, Apple TV, and the TV device itself. Um, that's one room. Mm -hmm. In another room, I have TV, cable box, receiver, PS4, Firecube, Xbox, switch i think that's all the devices there um so getting people to figure out how to switch like what's what what's on hdmi one what's on hdmi two how do i get sound out of the cable box because it's plugged into the receiver etc cetera, etc cetera. it's not always that easy so what we've done is we have the logitech harmony in one room and the fire cube in the other and you say Alexis, turn on the TV. Alexis, I'm sorry. Switch to Xbox. <laughs> it's okay. You said it quiet enough. Um, like switch to up. Xbox, switch to cable, switch to Fire Cube, whatever. Um, and it works extremely well. Um, they are adding their own, own and it's own. So the the Harmony version that I have of this is like a hundred dollars, just for the companion IR blaster. They're coming out with an IR blaster for $34.99. Mm. Um, and it, it's bundled with a 4K Fire TV stick and an Echo Dot for $80. Um, I am super excited about this. And I'm hoping Black Friday brings this down just a little bit. And it'll be pretty darn impressive. Um, I will buy at least one more of these for another room. Um and I would I would definitely buy the bundle at the probably sixty dollar price point. Mm -hmm. Not that I don't have enough dots just floating around the house, but why not one more? <laughs> uh boy, that's like get my internet. We throw all the talky things all so over the place. Here's here's a question that's coming in based on that conversation. Yes, Podner wants to know how do I use the cable box as a pass through with my VCR? Your VCR, the cable box as the pass through? I don't think I'll allow it. No, you had to, you back in the day you had to do it in reverse, right? The, the VCR was a pass through for the cable box. Mm -hmm. So the cable box plugged into the VCR, the VCR plugged into the TV. Mm -hmm. I've never my like most cable boxes only have one of those cables. Right, right. And I, and I mean you could say go well, buy an you Xbox pass, yeah, one. You, you pass through an and Xbox pass it one. through there, but but the it, Xbox is HDMI and I don't it, think it, you're going to find an HDMI VCR. Yeah. Well, there are HDMI DVD players, I noticed. Oh, there's definitely. No. I had. Guys, like, I, I, guys, yeah. guys, guys. What? That was sarcasm. Oh. And I've been over here laughing at you with my <laughs> microphone muted this entire time. <laughs> Chilla. Oh, just a joke, guys. Chilla, let's talk video games for a minute. I haven't caught. Uh, I, I, I caught up with. Uh, I was catching up with Fortnite after the they rebooted. Like, I was playing a little bit of uh, season. Uh, whatever season. Did what, you get the Stormtrooper? Uh, no. No. No, I did not. I did not play because I haven't played recently enough to find out that Star Wars is in Fortnite, you guys. Damn it. Look, sir, droids. Yes, look, sir. So, uh, yeah, of course, with all the amazing stuff going on between Disney Plus and the new movie coming out next month, got my tickets for it. Uh, they have Stormtroopers in 
Fortnite, and you can go check that out right now. Uh, apparently, it is what is it? It's a it's a classic trilogy Imperial Stormtrooper skin for the game, and I think that's about it. But still, that's that's awesome. I haven't played Fortnite in some time, and I logged in just to pick it up. I'm not gonna. Oh, lie. really? You buy? I have, I have this crazy. You gotta buy it, right? I think it. There's some fangled way to if you bought Fallen Jedi to mm. pick it up, pick the skin up free. Um, I have this crazy dream that one day, if I have if I add enough skins to my account that are were like one time things, I'm gonna be able to sell that account to somebody else to someone that's stupid enough to buy it for a decent <laughs> amount of money. Did you but did you see what else Star Wars hmm. is coming to? If you go to the last story in the feed, hmm. my five year old's life will be complete hmm. because Star Wars is also oh. partnering with Roblox. Oh, so so father and son can <laughs> both Star Wars together on their respective games. And it's kind of like a build your own Ooh. speeder. Yeah. So I haven't played this. I just saw this today, and now I'm going to have to go home and try to figure out how this works. Yeah, a little speeder thing. So from November 19th to January 6th, you get to design your own speeder. There's challenges to own goodies like a digital BB-8, or is it D-O? I don't know which droid that is. Um, So you can win stuff. You compete in the Galactic Speedway Creator Challenge. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I've never seen a D-O. Yeah, I'm guessing that's a droid from the Yeah, it's it's a droid. Movie. It's like kind of a wheel. Yeah. Do you have the video feed up, up in front of you? Yeah, is it the the YouTube of the Galactic Speed yeah, Challenge? Yeah. Okay. Um So we play a lot of Roblox, and I will tell you it is very repetitive. <laughs> <laughs> it is a hundred games of the same game with new skins on it. Oh no! I've played Pizza Tycoon. I've played. Oh, that's right, because they're games <laughs> that you download. I forgot well, about that. You don't that. even download them. They're like, it's yeah. Like a... I hopped into the app one time. I was like, oh, this is strange. It very, is... very strange. There's a couple. Like, there's one that's um, it's some kind of jailbreak game that's actually a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a good one, but. A lot of them are just the same game with different skins, and there's 52,000 versions of it. Um, there's a tower defense game that's pretty good, um, but I will definitely be checking this out. So how about, because I, I think you, are you game passing on Xbox? I am not. You are not. And I think Doug was looking at this, and he was kind of interested in it too, in a comment. But did, uh, but, but the, the story before we get into it. Uh, so apparently, Game, Ca- Game Pass Ultimate, which also inc- already includes your Xbox Gold free games, plus Game Pass for for Xbox, plus Game Pass for PC as well. Well, apparently, and I'm sure there's a deal to sweeten them up for the uh, for the uh, da, 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 the holiday. Um, they're going to add Discord, Spotify, and EA Access freebies. Um, and it's also adding 50 new games to Game Pass, including multiple fan- Final Fantasy titles. Uh, the 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 layout of titles that they have releasing is pretty great, and you can see on the list that they have here, like which ones are also on the PC too. So you won't be left out if you you just have a, a PC. But man, between all of that, and what was the um? So here's here's what you're getting for the freebies that we're talking about. Um, the company is throwing in uh, one free month of EA Access, three free months of Discord Nitro. I'm not I'm not familiar with what Discord Nitro is. I know what Discord is, uh, and six free months of Spotify Premium. Holy crap, that's that's crazy. So what I'm interested in is, are you you're familiar with like the Xbox lease to buy, mm-hmm. where you pay like twenty bucks a month mm-hmm. and you get an xbox yeah you, you get an xbox and you get all this all these services you get live well i mean it will, so, yeah. so i'm wondering is like if that if this is included if you get that it has to be at this point because you'd just be because, getting that along with it i mean there's no reason to really buy, buy an xbox no you already have one no if i if i were in the market that hey i just got a brand new 4k tv and i need a new xbox yeah i'd be doing that least thing like i hands down you, you'd have to be at this point. You'd be crazy not to. 
and throw the old Xbox One on like an old TV, you know, or that's the one that stays here in the office or something, right? Mm-hmm. So you have one, you know, it, it's it's so throwaway right now. Or if you're and still rocking a 360. I know some people are still rocking a 360. I'm still throwing. If I have a night where I'm just going to sit and play video games at my house, I'm booting up a 360. I have an Xbox One here. I'm booting up a 360 and playing Gears of War 2. That's what I've been doing. And granted, I only get a chance to do that like once every two months at this point. But still, it's nice to just dive into whatever I want. Um, the other thing with this, and a story that we did not have in here, but there was an update to the X Cloud that's supposed to be. I think they said they're gonna. They're, 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 they were talking about expanding it. Um, it. It's right now. I think you can get it on Android devices, and this is the cloud-based Xbox. But people are comparing it because uh, Google Stadia launched this week and is, you know, not a lot of the features are there. Even the ones that we thought were going to be there at launch. You thought, you know, Disney had a rough the rough time. But Xbox, I mean, you're getting familiar with Azure right now. They're running on all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, they seem like the ones that are going to be able to pull this off. And that's going to be a part of it. Like, very soon, you may not even need an Xbox. But I thought the part of the xCloud was... You'd be able to play the games, that, or is that just unlocking? I the think title? that's. I think that's a version of it. Okay. Uh, yeah. You'll be yes, able to play what's missing? back on your house. You're pointing at something. There's an Android. I thought. Or, yeah, I had. I had a link. So the one thing I did ask for for Christmas, and they're not too expensive. I actually asked for a phone mount for my Xbox controller. Mm-hmm. Primarily, also because I can use my Xbox controller with my iPhone. It makes so much sense, right? Um, that I wouldn't mind. Kind of having that that set up. Mm-hmm. Have you played any of the Minecraft? No, they are. Okay. No, I have not. I have not. Yet either. Don't I have to be in the beta or something for it? Well, but it's released in the U.S. now. Mm. So it's well. In that case, we'll be downloading that guy here briefly. Uh, a couple real quick things that I poked at. What was it? There was um. Uh, there was two betas, WordPress. Uh, I'm sorry, Wiki, Wikipedia, and this is just something to look out for. Wikipedia has their social network as an alternative to uh, Twitter and Facebook, with all the controversy surrounding those. Uh, got into it, invited invited Katie. Um, you don't necessarily have to donate to get into it, okay? Uh, just that's Wikipedia being Wikipedia. It's just suggest suggested. I'm, it, it, so it's there if you want to play around with it. Actually, if any, I'm trying to create like an awesome cast circle for people that get into it. Maybe um, I got in, and it's like people uh, uh, fact checking Donald Trump so far. <laughs> you know, it's just like, what am I going to do with this? It's like it's like every social network, every alternative social network that we've heard of over the last 15 years, right? It's like nobody's there yet. What do I do with this? And now what? I don't know. Uh, so if you find any good communities in there, let us know over on the group. And there was another one that I just sent a beta for, and I just got in trouble for it, actually. <laughs> you got in trouble <laughs> for sending a link? Yeah, I, I sent a link. I was uh, Brawlhalla. It's like a Smash Brothers game. Oh, you've the showed it, yeah. One. Yeah, we talked about it before. They had WWE characters in there. I wasn't about to drop 10 bucks a piece on those characters, though. Um, but uh, they're, they're launching um, iOS and Android versions next year. And there's a beta for it right now. And I signed up for the beta. And it's one of those where you're sitting in line waiting to get your spot in the beta. And it was like, oh, if you share, you know, you can get bumped up in line. I shared it, to, like, used the Facebook button on the website. And I got hit for uh, against community standards. And Dave Ponder, I know something similar happened. Although he said something about, I don't know, he said something about white people or something. Uh, so, <laughs> so, I mean... Hey, Facebook is going to Facebook. So I, I hit I hit strongly disagreed with the decision and moved on. So I, I don't know. That was, that was the other weird thing that happened. So look out for those. Those are in beta. I, I am interested to see what happens with cloud. I, I love the idea of, you know, even if it's the one where we talked about where uh, uh, the console becomes your cloud mm-hmm. and I can just pull that up on any device. Like that's that like just the games I have on the console. I'm cool with that. That's all I need. Mm-hmm. You know, the Steam play on my phone is amazing. What I'm interested in is if I'm licensed for it, but it's not installed on my console, will it let me use it on the cloud? Because I have like all those games right. with gold. Yeah. yeah. That I'm 
they're either rainy day or I just made sure I picked them up because I may want to play them one yeah, day. Yeah. Can I just use those on the go and not actually have that's to what i'm hoping them. you open that up and it's just like hey and you have all these games you know? well i noticed in fallen I want, I want steam to do that in fallen jedi mm-hmm. and i haven't downloaded a game on xbox for a long time mm-hmm. so maybe this isn't new there was a marker on the download that said something like you can start playing Play, at this point. You can start playing it yeah. Yeah, before it's So that makes sense when it's a level game mm-hmm. like that. Hey, the first couple levels are done. Mm-hmm. Um, I've done that on like when I got Mortal Kombat X and like you know, about a year ago because it was like Black Friday, right? Oh, God, Black Friday is coming up. This is usually when I end up buying games. Um, anyways, but uh, yeah, it, it was like, hey, you can play this game. You have four fighters to choose from. It's like, what the hell, guys? <laughs> Push those guys to the front and only give me a couple of the, like the backgrounds or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, but it, it's cool that those options are there. Um, no, and again, I'm not downloading a lot of games to do that, or they're happening in the background while other things are happening. Again, we don't sit here and play video games in the office as much as I wish we could. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to be quite honest, so I don't know. We'll see. All right, Chilla. It's been fun. It's been awesome. We've been, been getting awesome. into things. I know you have to study up for your Azure. I do have to study up. Uh, exam cram so um i've been fighting i gotta put this out there for you guys on patreon i've been kind of fighting with ideas of what to do for patreon lately um i mean we we figured out for like the wrestling show we can like pull guests aside watch footage and stuff but uh, i i think i want to put out there the to the patreon uh people or people are not on patreon what would you like to see us do as additional content and also, what kind of uh, alternative uh, episodes would you like to see through the holidays? I'd like to get, I say this every year, but I'd like to get some shows in the can so you guys have some stuff to watch there on, uh, well, I guess Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve uh, if you're, you know, avoiding the family and need some distractions. So, uh, you know, if it's a, uh, you know, any it's topics. It's like Santa Claus delivering it early for the holidays. Yeah, I figure, you know, I think we do, We like in my mind, I think we should do an episode where, where Chilla gets a deep deep dive on a topic, and then we should do I think one more. You should come to my house. Well, we should finally do that. Why not? Is this the time to do it? I think it's good timing. Okay. My office is almost done downstairs. Oh, good. Yeah, that's what we were waiting on, wasn't it? Yeah, that it'll be done like the sixth of December. Okay, well, we'll have to do that. Maybe that'll be over the the holiday break if you have time. You know what? Let's let's talk because I have a vacation day or two to burn. Mm-hmm. So if we could do it during your off time during the day, it means no one will be home. Okay. So we ha- we'll have the house to ourselves. We'll do that. We'll make th- we'll make that happen. But if you guys have any ideas, what do you want to see from our awesome crew over here? Between myself, Chilla, uh, Katie, uh, Kraus, or anybody else has been through, let us know. Hit us up on the social medias, on the Awesome Cast Facebook page, Twitter, email address, uh, contact form. I think we have on the website. Uh, so there you go. John Chilla, thank you. Thank you for having me. Chilla on the tweets. ChillaTech.net. John chill on the Facebook. Producer Missy's back there waving at us. <laughs> at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Check out everything at SorgatronMedia.com. Again, we got a lot of great shows. Great interview at Pittsburgh Currents uh, podcast on the network uh, with uh, 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 Barjutsu about their video game and upcoming show on AT&T Sportsnet for Beer Pong. A Beer Pong show on AT&T Sportsnet. Uh, so there you go, Bold Sports Pittsburgh. You guys need to... Uh, uh, check that check that out i always say it in the wrong order bold pittsburgh sports damn it uh <laughs> said uh of course thrifty bardic mystery tales uh new episodes there uh new stuff of course always with the wrestling and uh, uh other stuff throughout the network thank you everybody fishing without bait i mentioned earlier uh has some pgh museums discussions as well just recorded great some great episodes for fishing without bait uh um with a, a, a friend of ours uh, from the wrestling world that had a great life change story uh, that's going to be premiering in December, just in time for you to make your New Year's resolutions. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. You have been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.